Mike with Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing Juiced by Bag Brothers. Let's go dive in, break down this bag. As always, we'll start with materials. Slow side, this is a hybrid material. It is the same slow side that's on the Big D Bags Maryland, the Siva Slasher. The only bags I know of that use this material other than the Juice now. It's the reason why I picked up these bags. I saw the materials, like I recognize that. I love this material. You know, the Maryland is one of my favorite bags. I love it. I love the way it plays. I call it a six speed. It does have a little bit of a vari variation of speed to it. So it has control to it when you throw it. It does have some control where you can slow it down and throw blockers when you need to. But you can also, if you throw a little harder, you can speed it up, push through. It, it, it's great for running bags in the hole. It's, it ha it's great for shot shaping, cuts, rolls, and flops. You can really do that with this material here. Uh, it's just a wonderful, versatile material. Very hole friendly for what it is as well. So six speed on the slow side. Fast side, this is the same fast side material that you find on the Brotherhood Guardian X, the B3 Ranger Fatal Coyote, the Big Mac Bikes, whatever. B3 uses it, or BG uses it on the the Witcher and the Valkyrie fast side. It is, it's a wonderful fast side material. It's probably one of my favorite fast side materials just because it has such a great hand feel to it. A little different, but it plays very similar to that Pro Sniper Viper fast side. Nine speed material, it is great for sliding the boarding conditions, pushing through blocks, cleaning up messes, blowing up piles. Great fast side materials. So I'm about a six and nine speed on these juiced bags. Template wise, it's a medium template bag, medium minor fill. So you have some flop. It is not overly floppy, but it's also not overly full. It's kind of that right, just right sweet spot of bag size and fill in there. The fill in here is a mixed fill. I love the fill the bag rolls put in here. It gives the bag just enough fluid of a hand feel to it. It has enough forgiveness in the landing. So if you don't throw a flat bag, it doesn't have a lot of kick to it. It's not going to really punish you. There's a little bit of a kick, but enough tilt to it. You're going to have a little bit of a kick to it, but it's not overly punishing at all. And that kick also means the bag does have some cutability to it. As I mentioned, the, the cuts, rolls, and flops, you can do that with this bag pretty well. But, but the fill in here makes this bag just extremely hole friendly. I love the, the, the slow side material. It's very hole friendly by itself, very drippy. You add this mixed fill here and this bag just does just, just melt in the hole really well. Love the way it plays. Uh, these bags, these bags here in particular do not have a stamp, but these bags are available with the TCL stamp. So if you play in the TCL Texas Cornhole League, you can get these bags with the TCL stamp. I'll talk more about that and availability in a minute, minute about the prices and where I get that from. But let's go ahead and jump in and talk about playability on this. And these bags are they're a versatile bag. I think the strong suit or the strength of this bag for me is the hole running. If you want to get up there and just run bags in the hole, put your four bags in, outlast your opponent. That's where this bag shines. That's when I love to throw a bag like this. Is when I get up there and just want to run bags. Right? Maybe I get an opponent who likes to play a dirty style game, very good at it. I don't want to match them shot for shot in the dirty style game. So I want a bag like this where I can run bags fast enough on the fast that I can flip over and push through their blockers. I put them up there. I've got enough flop here and forgiveness around the hole that I can play that get around games with a hero blocker up there. I can kind of step out, sneak around, get that corner to grab. It'll pull and melt the bag back in. I've got the ability, like I said, for some cuts, rolls, flops. You can definitely do that with this bag. So it gives you those options for getting around the blockers if your opponent's throwing a lot of blockers out there for you. This bag also does a pretty good job at playing a dirty style game on its own. It, this material has some stick and grip to it when it first lands and flattens. That is kind of grab a little bit initially. But once it gets up there, it's not super sticky, so it's not going to make, it's not going to be a great bag for causing bags to kick off, you know, because it's not hard to push through. But it's a wonderful obstacle, visual obstacle up there for your, your opponent. Put the bag up there. Because it's very easy to collect, you know, it's not according up because it's not super floppy. You're just clipping the corner. You can get more aggressive, put that bag a little more on your opponent's side, come down, clip it, take it in. Obviously, fast side, you can push through multiple bags. There's enough There's enough flop. These bags fold up really well. I didn't have problems with the bags clogging or bunching up in the hole whatsoever. Like I said, you have the ability for the cut. So if you get a little too aggressive, get the bag too far on that opponent's side, if they don't bring it back into play for you, you can come down with the cut, grab it pull it back in no problem whatsoever for those of you who do like to throw the rolls and flops this bag if you're if you're average to advanced you can definitely do it if you're learning on the if you're, if you're just starting out and trying to kind of figure out those cuts rolls and flops probably not the best bag for that it's got too much forgiveness to it that it's not it's not the easiest bag to cut roll and flop like i said if you've if you've got that skill you just need to hunt a little more or you're really good at it you can definitely do this bad i love to throw cuts i had no problem throwing cut shots this bag you got to get a little bit more intentional with that tilt on the bag to the cut, you know, it's not as bouncy as a more all bead filled bag would be. It's not as sticky as a slower material. So, you know, some of the slower materials bounce your bags. You don't need quite as much of a tilt and they'll still move. This one, you gotta get a little more, a little more intentional to get that tilt. Same with that back load and front load, but you can definitely do it. No problem with the, with the shot shape. Unless it gives this bag a ton of versatility for it. And, and, and one reason I, I love bags like this is I love bags that have that versatility. One, when you go to blind draws or switch holios, a, a bag like this is great because no matter who you get as a partner, you can both kind of play your style of game with this and really if you like if you're a carpet bag thrower you like throwing carpet bags or you like throwing these hybrid material bags this is a great bag to put in there because if you get a partner who's a fast bag thrower they can play their fast bag 
style game with this no problem whatsoever so you can pull this out you still have some of that that high that carpet style playability in this hybrid material so you can sort of play your game but they can get away playing their game as well so i love having this in the arsenal it's also great you know if you know if you're a fast back thrower and you go to these blind draw controllers and you get a partner who likes to play a slower style game maybe it's a bag to have in your your backpack say hey look I don't really want to play that really sticky carpet bag, but we can throw this hybrid material, we throw this bag right here and pull the juice out and go through it. You probably can convince a carpet bag player to throw this bag. So it really does kind of help bridge the gap between those two different play styles. And I think it does it really well. But again, for me, I love the versatility because I like to play, I like to vary my game up depending on my opponent. I always like to play to my opponent's weakness. So depending on how how my opponent plays the game, I, I, I once I figure them out, if I don't know them, I start adjusting my game. And a bag like this where you can really mid-game adjust how you play and get up there and start running bags in the hole for the first four five six rounds and then realize your opponent's really good at running running bags in the hole so maybe you want to change it up and throw some blockers up there you can do it you can mix it up round and round and keep your opponent guessing i love i love the, the options it gives you with that and as well as it gives you options for getting around bags when they put bags up there with the cuts rolls flops the get around the forgiveness it has around the hole there it's just it's it's a wonderful bag to throw I, I, if you if you've been thinking about trying out this material maybe you've I mean, you saw my review on the maryland's or the siva slashers and you've heard about it you've been intrigued by it but you haven't pulled the string on buying a set yet i think you might want to you know give these juice to a, a, a run to see how well they play now that's going to lead me into availability which is one of the better parts of this bag and that's the price on these so bag brothers does have a website bagbrotherscornhole.com drop a link in the description for you guys when I bought these, these were on sale, fifty-five dollars for a set. I think they were regularly. I think they were like sixty-ish bucks regularly, sixty, seventy bucks regularly. They're on sale for fifty-five. They had free shipping, so fifty-five dollars shipped to me is a phenomenal price for a bag like this. This is a high-quality bag for that price tag. If you do need the TCL stamped version of this bag, for those of you who play the TCL, I'll put a link in the description for the TCL website. If you play there, you probably already know. But if you're interested in playing, but you haven't checked it out yet, if for TCL, you need you do need a bag that has the TCL stamp. You can get these with that. You just have to go to the TCL. TCL website. We'll link the description for you for you guys on that. The bags run like 70, 80 bucks depending on the design that you're getting. And it was $12 shipping. So like $82 to $92 shipped to you. It's still a great price for a, a high quality bag. Like I definitely recommend checking it out. So if you've been intrigued by these this material at all, I, I highly recommend giving it a try. If you haven't thrown it, I think you're gonna love it. If you have thrown these juiced, I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Always love hearing you guys' opinions. I thank you so much for your support. And I thank you for watching.